I have a small story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you thought the last one was traumatizing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this one happened later in life. So uh, as, as now. May I add one more thing? Yeah. But maybe there's not much they could have done. Me, those Kiabu incidences left me <laughs> traumatized. Yes. I can imagine. I mean, the, it's watching your father being. I mean, that, that was very young though. We had yeah. like series one to seven. I have stories. That was series one. Yeah. <laughs> I had a bush one. Uh, so yeah. maybe I do, but you see, then life happened. So we had to go back. Yeah. But, eh, but so I pray. And you know, we live in an insecure world. So I pray to. What do you do? But man, life was. I was scared for a long time. I'm still recovering. So if there's a mental health issue, hi. <laughs> Red <laughs> soil. So, but anyway, uh, don't ask where I live now. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so it's very, definitely not very camp. interesting. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so I think there's hearing, hallelujah. Yeah. Or, you, or you walk through it. <laughs> <laughs> Even we are wondering, what am I doing there? I tell you, love makes you do interesting things. Yeah. So, so. Like, like, like you, I guess, for us, things also turned around from wealth, like crazy, to it having, it was crazy. Having, yeah, it was crazy wealth. You know, my dad had planes. Yeah, that's what I mean. I wanted you to say that. Wait, yeah. wait. He, he had planes, he had horses. Like we had horses. Like aeroplanes. Like aeroplanes. Yeah. Not, not stick to your yeah. lane. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dege. So, Dege. so you see, like me, I used to come home and I, I take the horses for a walk. That was us. That was life. And there are the horses. That was, that, that was, that, it's that, not a toy horse. Yeah. That, was, that was normal. <laughs> but, but we went from that life. <laughs> so I'm Do you know, horse. as we used to come from Kerugua to Nairobi to see a horse. Well, <laughs> yeah, so, 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 but you know, for us it was... That us, sounds like I'm too good now. For us it was like... Sorry? Like we didn't know any other life, you know. It was normal, you know. It was like, yay. Hey. So... <laughs> So even you're saying building a simple, we had a pool, you know, it was there, you know. Like, <laughs> like, but anyway, so, 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 God provided. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, so, you guys so, are level. So, but I like I like your story that when when everything turned around, mm -hmm. you see your father was in the word, your mom was in the word, so you guys yes. were able to hold. You know, the word was was what held you guys together. Yes. My dad is not in the word, so when we lost everything, and I'm telling you, like. Like you guys were saying, she was saying that were well, there cars for the kids. Yes, we had the cars oh, for the kids. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so, you know. So, you know. Scare, scare. Before scare, before we grow up, <laughs> like them, life happened. <laughs> so, 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 you know, you know, you know, like, like it, was, it, was, it was good life, it was good life. So, yeah, so, you had plans. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Even at home, you know, like, okay, this is, uh, it's yeah, not no, like I'm sure you go. No, it's not true. But so we had a chef. Like, and two hmm. two maids. So you know you go home and you're like, there's food. And they announce the food they're going to have for supper tonight. We shall be eating the following. So anyway, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> you are telling us a no, story. No, thank you. That's true. true. When you're telling him, you, you guys on an ali. I was hoping. You know, this was like on an ali. I was hoping he'll share. So, I was just like, I was like, I'm going to But you guys say something. So, it's so, but anyway. We, uh, we lost everything. I like, right? I like how it's hard for you to But me, I was told by the way. Yeah. So, keep it. So, we, yeah. we, did, we did. So, my dad lost everything. You know, it, it go, it, guys, you know, it's bad. Auctioneers come and take everything. That's how bad it is. I went to school one day. I came home and my room was empty. Because things had gone. But as my dad was, okay, my dad went through ups and downs as he was trying to pick things up. Uh, it strained our relationship at first. My mom kept us together because she's in the world. So, we used to pray every day and stuff like that. But now my dad figured out, so my dad started doing things that were making money, but he wasn't involving us. So he was doing things on his own and doing things. And getting conned a lot. It really affected us because we were like, why don't you listen to us? So one day he did. He said, let me get you involved. And he decided to get me involved. So what he did is uh, he had this deal where he was bringing in cows from across the border, Ethiopia. And he decided, I'll send my son. Ethiopia. Yes, to the border of Ethiopia to make sure the cows are brought in. And I was you excited. Went to which means? Uh, I took a truck there, and I took a, a bus back. But th that the story that's is, story. Yeah, that's a so different story. That's yeah. enough trauma. But I got there, and I was excited because my dad trusts me. You know, he trusts me now. 
to handle this money. I thought maybe it will help our relationship. I was 22. Okay. So I was in campus. I took some time off mm -hmm. to help because that was going to be school fees. So I went uh, to do this business. And it, it, it was okay at first until uh, there was an incident on that end and they closed the border. So I called my dad and I'm like, ah, things are thick. Uh, they've closed the border. Send me my, my, some money, I, I, I come back. He's like, you're on your own. I'm serious. You wanted to be involved. And this no, is the other. <laughs> I know this is before cell phone, so I'm on a call box. <laughs> I'm like, what? So I'm trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> so I, know I managed to get a hold of my mom, I my mom to the rescue. So I told her, Dad told me I'm on my own. I need to come back. <laughs> so she, she got some money together and she sent it for me and I, I came back. But after that, I didn't want to get involved anymore. You know? <laughs> Like, we are good. So, so, <laughs> so you know, sometimes when I see, and, and it's, it's really, it's, it's, up to date, it really affects me because a lot of my friends have gotten into business with their dads and they're doing very well. And I've always wanted to get into business with my dad, or then. But now, if my dad suggests, let's get into this together, no, I'm fine. I'm good. He deserted you. Yeah, I mean, you know, after that, it's like in my head I'm thinking, if things become, if things go bad, he'll tell me you're on your own. You know, I, I don't want to be left, you know, holding the bag. So, Let me let you know. exactly. <laughs> I, and you can imagine, I don't even know how, it, it took me three days to get there. So, I didn't even know how I was going to get back. I was like, I'm in the middle of nowhere. There's no family. There's nothing. And we're like, I'm, out, I'm on Kenya side because I'm not allowed to go to Ethiopia. I'm blocked off because of an incident. So I'm just stuck, just staring at people. I was traumatized. But oh, since wow. then, I was like, <sighs> we're good. <laughs> yeah. Wow. But I. I <coughs> wait. <laughs> Here's what I'm trying to say Your dad, in those days, <laughs> He yeah. did what he had to do. You enjoyed horse riding. I did, yeah. You know, us we mm. used to come to race course during a kitchen network show <laughs> to, see. to see these things. <laughs> mm. you, you lived with them. I think this world just when now you you've shared your stories and we're just speaking. I'm just like this life just shows us so many different yeah. segments faces mm -hmm. you know and seasons and it just reminds us there's a season for everything so even when we're in a space of raising our own families i i feel blessed being here because now we all know we are not raising our families from a point of ignorance mm -hmm. you know you have seen what it's like to have and not have yeah. So even when your child is trying, you're teaching your child, it's coming from experience and it's not from, you know, a story or, wow, wow. Yeah, and I think for me even financially, yeah. even when we think of the children, or the schools our children will go to, we want them to go to very good schools, mm -hmm. but knowing life can happen. Yeah. Knowing life can happen. Um, but again, you trust, because again, you never know about life and all. Mm. But yeah, it's very, it's, it's interesting how the stories are so different. Uh, just <laughs> on the story of taking your kids to really good schools, mm. um, you know, the Kenyan system is very different from the other system. So mm. I went to a British system, but because we couldn't afford, I could afford to go to, you know, university ab yeah, abroad. And I had gotten into school, you know, I was excited. Uh, but then my dad tells me, ah, there's no money. In my head, I didn't think that I should I probably apply for a scholarship or something like that. I was like, okay, I, I got a job and stuff like that. He asked me to apply to a local school. And I did. And I High school? Now na university. <laughs> and I got in, but I was not feeling it. My dad called my boss and had me fired and told me that I had to go to school. So when I went in, everything was different. It was so different. It was, it was so hard for me to adjust. Uh, in fact, I think I went through it and you I... You went to public uni? No, I, I went to Catholic University. Okay. Uh, it was private, but it's still... I mean, it's just... It was, I couldn't relate. Yeah. It's uh, not Harvard or... No. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so,
I didn't know I couldn't I could barely speak Swahili. So everybody is speaking things and I'm looking at them like hmm? say what? Yeah. I had a very deep accent. <laughs> British I'm American. Very British. So 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 that had to change quickly. Uh, so a lot of things just have to I had to just adjust. You know, it was a lot of adjustment. I just and then I had to make new friends, not just different friends. It was a very different experience. The friends I used to have before used to, <coughs> on, on holidays, they used to holiday. You know, oh, they, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Nothing they, here. They, they don't, Nothing you don't just, yeah, you don't just, you don't drive somewhere. You, you're flying. You don't go to Lake Nakuru. No. And then, you're not going with your parents. You're going. Alone. <coughs> yeah, alone. So, so you know, now, I was, I was not used to, uh, people used to talk about experiences, and I'm looking at them like, hmm. Orgasm come first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, okay. Hey guys, are like now Mombasa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah we can go. So, yeah. so what's your take? Yeah. <laughs> From that, how does it, how has it influenced? Because see, a lot of aspirational, especially middle class, yeah. they want to prepare their children yeah. for that path, and you are prepared for that path. Yes. So. <clears throat> First, I know you're, so how is that dynamic for you? I know it, it could be a bit of a struggle, but looking back, yeah. okay, now looking back and looking forward, what would you, would you have done differently? As far as uh, the best and adjusting, and you want to prepare your child globally, so how is that for you? I like that question, because uh, what I learned from my father's experience, have your university fees ready before you start with another one. Because if you plan on taking your child <coughs> to, uh, a school abroad. Start looking for the school fees now. <laughs> Don't look for the school fees for this local, you know, British or American system. Oh, you can have it, but always plan for that school fees because you might plan till end of high school. Then what happens? That fees is not cheap. It's exp it's really expensive, and you have travel, you have accommodation. It's a lot of money. And if you bring up your child, letting them know that they will go to that school, that's all they'll be looking at. Mm. They will not expect to be taken locally. That is going to be a mental shift. It's going to be complete, you know, it, it will affect them mentally. Mm. It, like uh, my <coughs> older sister, same thing happened. She, was, she knew she had the grade, she was going to go abroad. She was told there's no money. She had to go to a local university. She, she was traumatized for, well, I think, a year. She almost refused. And then eventually she's like, okay, I'll try. And she, she did. Uh, my younger sisters, same thing. When they were told there's no money to go to university abroad, I'm like, are you serious? You know, you've planned, you've studied, you've planned your life to go to. In fact, you know, they don't, your parents don't tell you when you're applying to those universities. After you've gotten that acceptance letter, saying that, yeah, you've gotten the university, and then they see the school fees. Like, Sorry, we can't, we can't do that. So you need to make sure you have that school fees. Do research in advance. Find out how much are all these schools cost. The, what's the most expensive one? Look for that money. If you can't afford, prepare your children early. Just let them know. Look for a scholarship. My wife got a scholarship. That's what I do. Yeah, you see, no. <laughs> yeah, because for me, you see, the path they had pangat. Yeah. You see, like, if you look at the different businesses, so they had pangat. Yes. You understand it? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, you see, yeah. So one panga, but be ready. If yeah. life happens, ha get a scholarship. <laughs> Jipange for university. Yes, yes. Mm, for my folks, because that was the path. Even my, my sister was doing something mm. outside to go. Mm. And the businesses that had been set up, you get you they know were, they can pay. They, yeah. they could pay. So yes. it's not the plan wasn't in place. Yeah. But then life did. So I think it's, a, it's an interesting one of plan, prepare. Yeah. Uh, save now for then. Save now. Have the money. P prepare for a scholarship yeah. in case of anything. Yes. But also in this world, you know that COVID happened, you never know. Prepare them for either option. Yes. Mm. Yes. I yes, guess exactly. what if I remember I joined campus three and a half years later, four years, almost four years. So I was a full time volunteer. It's very interesting. My first international trip, you guys got them trips. Us guys, it's a mission. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so when it really gets to you, you better go. <laughs> And my friend invited me to go to UK. So my friends are asking, so why are you going? My friend has invited me. What mission? <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? <laughs> 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 so 
Lord nilijipata tu I found a church I did a outreach when you're there you make calls for what ministry can do <laughs> but you fed me, you know, yeah. as a trainer, we got different things to do. Yeah. But my family don't know, you just go. <laughs> and the thing is, to be a me, mission. I don't just yeah. know, you know, yeah. so I just say, you know, that's you our see. life. I can, so, yeah. Yeah. I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> that was a saying somewhere. No, you were saying mm. prepare, prepare them as yeah. well. Prepare for either or. Yes, so I joined campus much later. Mm. But I think, oh, I think they just live purpose in a sense. Eh? Mm. So in as much as I was a volunteer, I was very fulfilled. So I, I but I, I actually, and it's a miracle how I joined. And there's a gentleman who, and bless his, 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 he's just blessed our lives. So I think he paid my fees maybe first term. I can't remember how long, but I took it up. <coughs> so I learned to pay for my fees. Mm. Um, and it's really good. Hey, yes, are you? Hey. <laughs> I do this me, me, I'm smiling. I'm like, you know, I'm going school fees. Young man. <laughs> First, I want to tell him, you should call me auntie. Do you know, <laughs> you know, you know them guys who joined campus, they're 16. Yes. Me, is. I joined four years later. Yeah. I joined when I was... <laughs> And look at a dude. I'm like, you swiping in the cafeteria. <laughs> me, my lunch cannot be. You guys spend 500. Hey, me, it's chapo soup and I negotiate for cabbage. So it just kept me focused, <laughs> not because of anything else. Yeah. But man, yeah. that school fees is no joke. But even with the delay, I, I got busy. And what quite but too fair. They didn't know what I was doing, where I was going, but <laughs> could I think, have a fair what, I, what I can say about that, um, having listened to you, now I have seen why my father used to always he there's always something he always used to do, at least for me. And I think it was for all of us, but let me just speak for myself. Anytime I was very active. Um, in primary school, high school, he was always, and him and, in, and my mom, they were always very encouraging me. They were always very encouraging. Ah, what project? You're doing science. Remember when there was science congress? Continue, do that. Me, just think. They knew it is, maybe when they looked at the account, they know, they, of course, all parents mm. want their children to have a great future. Yeah. But they also, they may not, and, I wish I, I also, like what I do differently, kama kuna pesa. Mi mbae ni nita mbae mtu ya kuna pesa. Sita danganya, sita, I won't try and, mm -hmm. and pretend mm -hmm. there is money if there is no, yeah. So they were always very encouraging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're always very encouraging if I'm doing any project, mm -hmm. if I'm, you know, singing in school, continue singing, maybe we'll be Coca-Cola pop stars, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> you're, you're doing science congress, you might be the next Einstein. I'm like, of course, I could be, right? You know, you're in debate school, continue debating, you might be the next president. And then I'm just like, I could be president. Like me, let me tell you, I was raised knowing mm -hmm. I could be anything I want. Not because that he, they have a lot, but it's because they put it in my mind, mm. we will support you mm. the way we can. Mm. Yeah, the way we can, mm. we will support you. You want to go to Science Congress, what do they need? Do we <laughs> buret pipette? <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do for that, you know. And that's how I always knew, okay, you do what you need to do, Yeah, you can make it. Mm, so I, one good. of the things I can say, like, when I'm a parent, and even with my nieces and nephews, when we're in this kind of space, may I'll just encourage them, because sometimes maybe I may not have money, mm -hmm. but I definitely have words to say. Absolutely. You know, and the words can be mm -hmm. to encourage them. The words can be apply for scholarships early, yes. you know, which yes. is possible. Yes. Yes. yes, yeah. And that even if you don't get that education in that sense, yeah. that's your gift. Yes. I remember my sister, now the one behind me, her life was very different. Huh? She jumped from, I don't know, she was class two. You know, <laughs> I tell you. Okay, not alone. That's <laughs> not be taking her. But then for her, when she was in form two, there's a college that saw her because she went up to national festival. Mm -hmm. You know, the guys go to the president. Yeah. So when she was in form three or two, her college, I didn't, there's a college that noticed her gift and that was covered. So I get what you're saying yeah. in terms of 
you know talent know, yeah. <laughs> and courage. <laughs> yeah, Let yeah. me tell you, when we were also in Campo and we went to the same school, mm -hmm. one of the things my dad he always used to encourage me, because me, when I was coming to that campus, <laughs> I had... I thought, mm -hmm. I was so sure I was going to the University of Cape Town. Yanni, you know how you're sure in your life? The way you say, I was so sure, but there were no fans. Okay. So they did the next best thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and there that was, was no, the next best. I couldn't dream of campus. Yeah. Because of where we were at. So it's nice to hear so your dreams. So they, they did what they could. <laughs> but my dad was just like, so what else are you doing? After class, what else oh, are you doing? Wow. Oh, there's a club. It's good for you to participate in these um, clubs and you never know what happens. Um, and he used to be very encouraging when I joined um, a club called Isaac. Mm. And he would hear, Ati, you want to go to India? <laughs> you like, okay, you want to go to India? How are you going to India? And he'd make it seem like, okay, it's possible to talk Peleka Airport. You know, and then, <laughs> and then I'd figure out, okay, so the rest of the things, how do we do it? I'd go to the Google eh, and look how to raise air ticket. Wow. Mm -hmm. How to raise air ticket. So I tell my friends, you know, let's have coffee. Let's mm. pay. And when you come to my room, when you're coming to have the tea party, called tea party, kill them to 200. Mm. 200, 200, 200, 200. It buys a ticket. Oh, wow. Okay, not on a comfortable flight, but we will still go to India. Yeah. You know, he was, because they always used to say there are ways. Yeah. There yeah. are ways to, go, to get to where yeah. you need to go. I like that. Yeah. And you see, that's so very good. Now, now that's what I teach my kids. Yes, yes. To me, the Just first to trip I went to, to Netherlands, I had 200 changes in my pocket. <laughs> but... It was just a faith thing. Yeah. So I think the combination of the skills, yeah. Yeah. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. So um, you know of how to. Mm. Wow. Hey fam, my name is Shabanjage. Hey fam, I am Anthony Kipingor. Hello, hello, my name is Faith Moturi Ngoge. Moturi is my dad. It's been a pleasure uh, having this conversation with you.